Hi guys, it's Jules. It is 4.15 in the morning and I'm just on an overnight pass from the hospital and the sun's already coming up. Um, I'm getting ready to, well, I'm leaving for treatment on Saturday. I haven't really gotten ready in any shape or form besides sort of stacks and clothes that I want to take and, um, some lotion and some toothpaste and I don't really know what else to take besides sunscreen because I'm going to Portugal and um I'm really scared the past two weeks I've been in hospital and it's just been um been like a known fact that that's what I was doing I was going to treatment in Portugal like that's why I was in hospital was to like get strong enough to go and um, do a little bit more of the weight gain here so I don't need to stay in hospital in Portugal for very much, for very long, because then it just brings the cost right up. And, sorry, I gotta change the phone because this one's a little lame. I hope it's not too loud. Um, anyway, so, yeah, it's been like the two weeks have been sort of going through this process of tolerating the weight gain and, um, tolerating the feeds, and I took the NGO for the night, I was just like, we're having that in, I was supposed to do three boosts overnight, and didn't, so I'm torn between concocting a story about doing two and having some drinks and not having to up the rate tomorrow and hopefully getting another overnight, but um, I don't really know if that'll happen. Um, I just wrote out my story, well, no, I just wrote out my path in a group I belong to. and. Um, where we're encouraged to share our stories, and um, I didn't really know if I wanted to because my eating disorder has morphed so much over the years, and um, I didn't want to trigger anyone. I didn't want competition between anyone, but it was three in the morning, and I was like, I feel like writing, and so I wrote up my story and I feel really good right now and I didn't call it my story because my story is going to begin after I'm done with treatment. That's when I'm going to be back. That's when, that's when Jules is going to start her life and I'm so excited for that and so terrified at the same time. I mean I just passed the like the criteria for anorexia weight-wise, and so I'm freaking out about that a little bit, but, um, I know it has to happen, and if I have to gain any more weight, if they decide in Portugal that I have to gain more weight, then I'll be surrounded by unconditional love and support, and, um, and I'll be able to do it, and I'll be able to be okay with it, and, once I'm there, I can work on my brain and get it fixed. Like, this clinic just sounds amazing. It sounds like God's hand. Like, they don't even consider relapse. They don't, like, if you relapse, they don't consider that you've been treated. And so I'm just going to stick it out as long as the fine you can and, um, and as long as I can. And work my ass off to fix my brain because that's the problem like I learn every day that I'm sitting in hospital staring at my meals that food is just it's just a symptom and I know that's what all the literature says and I've understood that for so long but it really rings true like Every time I'm looking at my meals, I'm like, this is just food. And why do I battle with it? Like, 
why do I fight myself? Why do I fight what's natural? And um, every day I get a call from the director of the clinic and we talk about it and he just helps me through so much of the like understanding of the of the negative brain and or the negative mind and how it just creeps up and robs you of life, robs me of life and I don't want that anymore. For the longest time I had decided it on my eating disorder that that was going to be me, that that was going to be my life, that I had, I went through weeks of, like, actual grief growth, losing my life, and the potential for children, and the potential for work, and the potential for me to give back to anybody, and just prepared myself for either premature death, or you know, uh, as an adult, or, you know, like, maybe a quick and sudden death, and I didn't care, and I just resigned myself to the fact that I was chronic, that I was treatment resistant, that nobody could help me, and then I got in touch with this woman, and I, I'm going for an assessment, but they have a place inpatient for me, um, if I choose to stay, and I'm going to choose to stay, because they can offer me what I need and what I want. I've never wanted to be somebody in recovery. I'm not an addict. I have an eating disorder, which they see as a condition, and it can be it can be cured. And I hope to come back with so much knowledge that I can just sit with whoever and get them through their meals, and just inspire them the way this woman has inspired me, and first of all, it comes, I have to work on myself, so, um, I don't know if I'll get more overnights before I go, but I leave on Saturday, and today is officially Wednesday. But um, still my Tuesday because I haven't slept. So, um, yeah, I guess I leave in three days, four days. And it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy journey. And I'm excited and terrified at the same time. Hopefully I come back as me without the eating disorder. I don't want this shit in my life anymore. And hopefully I come back strong and not let it back in again. And, and just be able to live, have a family, to have a job, to have a dog, to have a person, to go camping. After grieving the loss of all that, now the possibility that coming back is just it's amazing. And I've been disappointed by treatment so many times and let down and just relapsed or never recovered in the first place. And um, this time it's going to be different, you know. What? So. I love you guys. Hope you take care of yourselves on the way. And I'll post if I can. I don't know if there's internet. And, um, yeah. Stay strong. You can get through this.